It can be cruel and unrewarding, so these sails must be strong and defiant. History to these sail-making craftsmen at Southampton means the America's Cup, an elusive trophy which has defied the efforts of Britain's finest yachtsmen since 1851. Millionaires and master craftsmen have schemed, built, challenged and failed. But pride and determination are being sewn into a new boat, the Sovereign. Two thousand two hundred and sixty square feet of sail, hand cut, hand stitched. No fault, no weakness can afford to escape the experienced eye, for these sails must harness wind into power and power into a first ever victory. A quarter of a million pounds is being spent to clip the sails of American supremacy and sweep sovereign to an immortal place in yachting history. This is the moment when craftsmen and yachtsmen combine their skills to challenge the angry waters of the Solent. It's a tough testing ground for Sovereign and her 11 strong crew of athletes. Already her 80-foot mast has been snapped with matchstick ease. But too much care and too much strength has been stitched into the giant sails to allow nature a second cruel blow. final racing days at Newport, manpower alone will decide the fate of the America's Cup. A split-second misjudgment, a fatal decision, could mean the difference between triumph and a postscript in yachting history. Tony Boyden is paying a king's ransom to snatch the silver trophy which eluded men like Sir Thomas Lipton and Tommy Sopwith. Endeavour, Valkyrie, Shamrock, Scepter, all have been expensive failures. Can Sovereign turn the America's tide? <laughs>